Hey and welcome back to another video of me, the DeFi Whale. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at Ray's Farm, a project that changes the way we connect with food through vertical farming. So without further ado, let's dive straight into the video. A really short description of Raze would be that Raze combines new farming technologies and Web3 to make sustainable farming scalable, accessible and profitable. Super short description, but I'll dive more in depth into the project later on, as this project is certainly interesting and focused on game-changing innovations. It's also interesting to know where the project originated from, especially for Raze I must say. The reason to build on Nier and how it resonates with Raze is especially interesting. In 2021, Raze decided to kickstart its own project in Lisbon, 2020 Europe this green city. Here Ray started collaborating with Aris e Studios, a near regional hub and NGO that offers artists a space to experiment and create. Thanks to Aris e Studios, Ray's was introduced to Near Protocol, marking the beginning of a new exploratory phase for Ray's. Near Protocol, a carbon neutral blockchain, seemed like an obvious option for Ray's. By leveraging near technological architecture and DeFi tools, Ray's will be able to integrate vertical farming with blockchain and distributed food systems to create the future of food. As I said, super interesting reasoning and I could definitely see the real world use case for Raze. Diving straight back into more information, now we know more about the origin of the project. Raze aims to introduce the vertical farming evolution, which indeed is the way I can see the future of agriculture shaping. Raze will be able to provide high quality and clean crops at your table year round, which will be produced in communities, for communities, by communities. Vertical farming guarantees hyper local and fresh crops, and by controlling the environment, allows us to use less water and less land, taking care of earth. Another innovation of the Raze Raze Farm is their flagship farm. Their concept farm has a hybrid model combining natural light and LEDs, vertical farming and solar energy. Currently, they are building a network of distributed farms in city centers. Unfortunately, as of now, the tokenomics and white paper are not public yet, so let's understand the project as much as possible. To fully grasp the concept of Raze, it's interesting to know what they're planning to offer. Raze wants to offer controlled environment agriculture, providing higher consistency, quality and yields, which can be divided into three categories. Taste Raze, roots on and reuse usable packaging. Each plant maintains freshness, nutrients and umami. Experience Raze. Curated vertical farming tours. Discover their flagship farm to know more about urban agriculture or join their pesto workshop. And Impact Raze. Tokenized impact for the bold. Get a farm share, subscribe to their deliveries or generate yield through their near powered NFTs. Wow, great offerings. I'm so excited for this project. Another thing that is amazing about Raze is that the team is publicly doxxed as we can see on the website. The team comes from different nationalities, backgrounds and palettes and share the same passion for impact. Of course, we are also interested in the connection to tokenization. So let's go over that. With Raze, you can have quantified impact related to the tokens you hold. This is the case for CO2, water and miles. Also, with the tokenization for Raze, you will be able to generate a yield from revenue profits. On screen, I will provide a diagram for you to be able to understand how the tokenization part of Raze will work. Feel free to pause the video. Currently, you can also buy NFTs on Mintbase. And as we can see, the NFTs look absolutely amazing. So definitely, make sure to check these out, especially while the prices of these NFTs are so low. To help grow the project, there is also a Google form titled the Retail Investor Questionnaire for Vertical Farms. By answering the questions, you can help them shape their products so they can grow faster and provide healthy veggies for more people and avoid more carbon emissions while doing so. It's really cool that they are giving the community a way to get involved with the development of the project. Also, always stay up to date with Razer's activities on their Twitter. I will also link their link tree down below so you can find all their socials and all other media related to Raze. While I'm making the video, NearCon is also in progress. NearCon is an event about all things related to the Near blockchain, and because Raze is also built on top of Near, it makes sense that NearCon is relevant to them. Building on the success of last year, Near's flagship event is back, and this year it's set to be bigger than ever. There are a lot of things to do at NearCon. You can build lasting connections, there are networking opportunities to connect and build lasting relationships with the Near community and ecosystem. There are a wide range of discussions talks on the future of finance, NFTs, governance, sustainability, gaming, protocol updates, developer tools, and much more. And there's also an IRL hackathon. Hackers get in free, win prizes, get on stage for a live Dragon's Den with Crypto Titans, and most importantly, have fun building. On the website, we can also see all of the partners at Neocon and all of the speakers that will be attending the event. Safe to say, it's a pretty big event. On the website, you also have the ability to watch Neocon from the comfort of your own home. Also, about the Pla NFT, Ray 
Space Farms giveaway, the link to it will be in the description down below. Let's quickly take a look at what there is to fill in and what's in it for you as a viewer. First of all, what's in it for you as a viewer is one fresh plant of your choice from the vertical farm in Lisbon for you or to donate to someone else. For this, you will have to follow them on Twitter, join their community group and follow them on Mintbase and of course, fill in the Google form to be eligible. If we go over to their Twitter, we can see that they even have a vertical farm station at Neocon, which is truly impressive. I've got to say the purple glow from the outside looks amazing. For a project that has launched in July, to already having something tangible is again something extraordinary. Anyways, that was it for the video on Race, a super, super interesting project that will definitely have an impact on the future of agriculture. I'm curious to see how the tokenization of the project turns out with the help of the community. As always, nothing in this video was financial advice and you should always do your own research as well. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.